Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we are in the adorable town of Duluth, Minnesota. Yes, we are in the north of the U.S. and this town is gorgeous. J Jocelyn, my wife, she used to come here and spend her summers here and she's been asking me for years, Mark, we've got to go, we've got to go. So we finally came here and I feel bad now that we didn't come earlier because this town is cute as can be. I mean, there's beautiful homes, there's some cool museums and train rides and boats and of course you got Lake Superior you can go out on. I mean, this place has got a lot to offer and it is super family friendly. Um, but I thought what I'd do is kind of go through the things you can see and do when you are here and what you should look out for um, when you do come so you can have a much better time because I didn't find a lot of information online about Duluth with videos and stuff like that so I thought we'd help you all out. Now behind me you have what's called the aerial bridge. This is the symbol of Duluth and the bottom part of the bridge there actually raises up when the ships come through and go in and out and what's funny is you think oh well it's no big deal it's like a drawbridge but when it goes up you kind of like oh I want to watch this and you'll see that people kind of line up and take pictures and videos and stuff like that but it is like the quintessential picture uh, of Duluth and when you're here there's actually a couple of lighthouses and stuff you can see too which is really quaint okay but that's kind of like the symbol of the city now I know that's not a lot to do it's like oh it's a drawbridge on the other side of the drawbridge actually there's some beaches there on this like long uh, point you can go to which is nice for the family to go and do things and relax on but if you're in Duluth itself, there's some really nice places you can go. Now, one thing people say is, oh, go to Canal Park. Well, I'll tell you right now, Canal Park is a misnomer. It's not a park. It's just kind of an area of town. And there's a lot of little cool things to check out when you are there. Uh, one thing we like to go is we went to the DeWitt Sites building, and there's all these cute shops inside of there. And the thing we really liked was the Toy Star. It's Jocelyn's favorite toy store in the world. And if you're tired of getting your kids the usual, you know, uh, My Little Ponies or Star Wars stuff, there they have kind of like old-fashioned toys and new fashion toys from magic and all kinds of stuff but there's all these quaint little shops in there you can go and enjoy and there's other things around here there's a distillery downtown um, in the in the sorry in the canal park area you've got the maritime behind me over there you got the maritime visitors center not much to see there but it's a nice little thing to walk through and get your tourist picture in the in with the uh, you know with, with the steering wheel <laughs> of, of the ships which is kind of cool and, and Canal Park really is kind of a place where a lot of people like to kind of base themselves and kind of explore out through the city. Uh, there is one place you should eat when you do come to here and we are in Canal Park. That is Grandma's Saloon. Uh, when you go there, it is very much a family friendly kind of place. Like we're here and it's October. So it's Oktoberfest stuff there. And so it's like the, you know, the Oompa Band music and things like that. But they have really good foods. Their onion rings, oh my God, don't get the family size. It is insane how much they give you. The walleye, they really love walleye up here, okay? The fish, so you have that. So that's kind of a typical place you have to go you know and have their beer and stuff like that so that's here also in, in Canal Park now in Canal Park you have a lot of these shops and you have a lot of restaurants and stuff like that for you to enjoy you know you get a chocolate place the typical tourist chocolate place when you're there and you have the the William Irvin uh, William A Irvin ship there's this huge ship you can go and you go and explore we're here in October and actually have it as a haunted ship which is actually actually pretty scary so I don't know if it's really good for the little ones but it is kind of an interesting thing because they do integrate the smell so when you're in the asylum part where there's poop on the walls it smells like poop on the wall okay um, but when you're at Canal Park there's this really nice lake walk okay you can walk along Lake Superior up I mean it goes for a ways up there and it is just gorgeous with the views of the of the lake but also the views of this town and the, I mean it's a beautiful town with beautiful buildings and stuff like that and it's a really relaxing walk and you'll see families going you can rent bikes or like group bikes to go along all kinds of stuff and the people are fantastic here so you'll say hi and be people and they'll wave at you and all kinds of stuff and that's one of the things that really makes Duluth special in Minnesota in general the people People are super nice here and it's super clean and it's super safe and it really makes it for a really great family adventure when you are here but anyway when you're walking down the lake walk you'll actually you can eventually come to the Leif Erikson Park and there's a rose garden there so you have a nice little park and see that you go even farther down I'd recommend probably driving instead of walking the hour from here to there um, you have the Glen Sheen house this is one of those amazing mansion estate homes you know because Duluth at one time had more millionaires per you know per capita than any other city in the US and this is the gem of it all so another great thing to see when you're in Duluth is the Glen Sheen mansion and this place is just incredible 95% um, of it is from the era when the family lived here and the preservation is just oh, it, it's just incredible. I love this. Um, but so much of it is in its original state. It's just really worth checking out while you're here. 
really amazing thing and the guides there are top-notch they'll tell you all the history all kinds of stuff and it is really nice and there's multiple tours there if you're gonna be coming on a weekend make sure you book ahead you can book it online it's super simple and they have a classic tour they have a more in-depth tour they have the nooks and crannies tour there's all kinds of different stuff but that is if you're going to a house tour it's like the number one house tour in Minnesota and you can see why when you go there it is gorgeous and even if you just go to the grounds and the gift shop you can still see a lot of stuff now let's come back into town one of the things you might want to do is when you're here with your kids you know you see the lake and you can go on boat tours out onto the lake you can go on fishing trips for here you can go kayaking there's all kinds of outdoor activities you can go hiking if you're going north of here there's all kinds of hiking trails so it's a really cool outdoor adventure kind of thing really great for kids uh, some kid stuff you can do here in the city is oh you can't see from here but there's the Great Lakes Aquarium that you can go and check out the kids tend to like but also there's the depot and the depot they run trains from here and you can take a 90 minute you know back and forth train just up the river you know to see some of the views or you can take one of the trains a full day trip up to two harbors which is another cute little quaint minnesota you know lake town which is really kind of a cool thing you can do but also the depot they have a railroad museum and it's actually a really cool railroad museum i, I mean i liked railroads when i was a kid i used to go see them with my grandpa but this one is done really really well so that is definitely worth checking out it's right by the public library if you're going to get your tickets uh to the trains know that the two harbors one does sell out quite often the 90 minute one you might want to book ahead just in case, uh, but there are options for that. So we're here in Two Harbors, uh, Minnesota, just north of Duluth, and we've talked about taking the train up from Duluth, and they do the Two Harbors color run and the turn and everything else. Another option is just to take um, Scenic Highway 61 up through Knife River and into Two Harbors, and you got to stop at Betty's Pies because, oh my gosh, are they good. But it's just a beautiful drive. You have the lake on one side and all these gorgeous woods everywhere else. And I grew up in these woods. I spent my summers um, near Knife River on the back of a four-wheeler just having a ball. And it's just such a beautiful, wonderful place. And the people are very kind and it's really fun. The drive up has these great, cute little houses. You'll see log cabins. You'll see cool Victorian things. There's just a plethora of really neat architecture to to you know kind of keep you occupied of all your drive and it's just gorgeous drive and the fall is lovely it's like 60 degrees and sunny and the the leaves are changing and oh my gosh I can't say enough I love this area of the country and everyone should come up here for a couple of days just to experience it so we're sitting out here just to talk about how gorgeous it is we're at Betty's and the wait was really long so we got our food to go and we get to sit out here in the woods and there's this gorgeous little river right next to us and we can see the lake over there. And it's a fantastic thing to do. So you absolutely have to come and visit this place. Mm. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's pie. All right, so we'll go back to Mark down in Duluth. Bye from Two Harbors and Betty's Pies. Now, we're here in October and it is just gorgeous here because the weather is phenomenal. It never gets too hot here in the spring and summer and fall. But the thing is, it's Minnesota and the winter here can be brutal. I mean, we're talking brutal. But what's cool is they do have a sky, kind of a sky bridge system. You can kind of walk around and get around downtown without having to be outside. So that is quite helpful. Though when you walk around it when, on nice days like this and it's empty, it is kind of like, am I in some kind of horror movie? It's so clean. I don't know what to do. I mean, you don't understand how clean this place is here. Even their underpasses are clean. It, it's kind of crazy. No, but seriously, the winters here are brutal. They get over 80 inches of snow a year and you think well that seems like a lot but it's Minnesota but even for Minnesota Duluth gets a lot okay like Minneapolis gets like 50 inches okay here they get 80 85 inches of snow a year I mean that's a lot of snow but what's cool is there's all kinds of outdoor snow activities you can do here you go to Spirit Mountain you can go skiing or snowboarding or sledding whatever you want to do there um, also what's really cool around Christmas time if you go down the, the lake here or you go down in there by the aquarium and stuff they have a whole like Christmas village you can go to and walk through it's all lit up it is really fantastic you can be here at that time I know I usually recommend come here in the summer because it's fantastic even the fall it's great when the leaves are changing and stuff like that but even in the winter there are some really great things to see and do when you are here um, so those are just some things you can see and do when you are here in Duluth it is a great place I mean <laughs> it's funny this place is such really family friendly and this is actually the first trip I've taken with my wife where we didn't bring the kids in eight years and I'm like I 
wish we had the kids here because there's so many cool kids things to do here. But anyway, I hope you have a great time here in Duluth. The people are fantastic. They will be very helpful. Always say hi to the people and stuff like that because they are wonderful. Anyway, I'll say bye from Duluth. As you can hear, the uh, ringing behind me means that it's time for the bridge to go up slowly um anyway i'll let you go you have yourself a great time here in duluth if you want to learn more um about traveling in the u.s or europe or china or south america or wherever check us out on our website at waltersworld.com we're also on twitter facebook instagram and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions and we hope you will click that subscribe button and click that like button down there because it really helps us out and have a great time in duluth because i know you will this place is just it's just wonderful okay so bye from duluth